Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog and happy new year. And as I've done since I've been vlogging, I am going to kind of give you a recap of this amazing year. I'm going to be honest with you, 2018 was probably, no not probably, it absolutely was the best year of my life. Just so many amazing things and we're going to take a quick look back at that and see how crazy it was. Starting with the fact that I hit a million subs on YouTube because of you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. What an incredible experience it was and I was down in Mexico and shared the entire thing with you guys One subscriber away from a million. Who's gonna be my million subscriber? One million! Whoa! One million! We just hit a freaking million subscribers on YouTube! As like everything, there are a lot of ups and downs when it comes to an entire year, but it was really cool to get my two-headed turtle, Rick and Morty, even though, as you guys know, things didn't turn out well, but hopefully in 2019, we'll get another one. Here it is. Hello, little buddy. Oh, oh my God. Gosh, it is the cutest freaking thing in the world. Take a look at these two. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely so adorable. I went for a little swim with my girl, Lucy. This is one of the coolest things. I did not know it was gonna be this awesome. Oh my gosh, guys, I am tripping out right now because you guys know when I have Lucy out of the cage a lot of times, it's a struggle, like she's all over the place. And look at her just kind of gracefully going through the water. She doesn't seem to be stressed out at all. People absolutely love ball python so I did my very best to give you guys an option of buying a ball python enclosure for under a hundred bucks people seem to like it about a half million of you guys watched it wow that is freaking amazing and again that cost $99 I certainly did a lot of snake feeding videos as well as unboxed a whole lot of snakes so the first bag of little crazy little monkeys here that I'm excited to see. Oh my gosh, let's see what she got. Ooh, these are absolutely gorgeous. For St. Patrick's Day, Eric made me laugh so hard with a funny skit that we did. Would you take me to go get my gold, Lucy? Would you take me? If you're not gonna take me, maybe draw me a map of the directions, Lucy. You know, sometimes my life is pretty crazy, and in this case, I met some baby grizzly bears. <laughs> Oh my gosh, is this the cutest little thing in the world? <laughs> what do you say we introduce them to your friends? Yes, I would love Let's that. Let's do that. Let's do it. Lori surprised me by getting our Great Dane puppy, Phoebe. What happened, Lori? Um... <sighs> We got a puppy. I started my quest off to get a two-headed snake this year by getting Laverne and Shirley, the two-headed albino corn snake. We decided to breed my girl Lucy, and guess what? She got gravid! Oh my gosh, this is really difficult, guys. <laughs> Okay, I definitely see follicles on this one. Again, Lucy is acting completely <laughs> fine, but poor Jessica's getting whipped around. Like, going to reach a dance. And like I mentioned, it was an amazing year, but not everything was perfect. We certainly had some downs as well. In this case, Laverne and Shirley didn't make it. I don't even know what to say about this. I mean, that's Laverne and Shirley, and... I told you guys that I was taking a huge risk because two-headed snakes a lot of times don't make it. Jessica always does an amazing job with leopard geckos when it comes to the breeding, and we had a ton of leopard gecko eggs this year. Oh, there There's one. There's, There's another, another good egg. one. There's another one. Look at that, guys. Okay, oh that should be it. All right, so we it looks like we have five good eggs, and then we had a couple slugs. The one thing you can count on when you work with the animals, and in particular reptiles, is you're always gonna be surprised. And Eric came to me, and a snake actually tied itself up in a knot. I just checked on this guy to feed him, and he's literally All right, let's a see knot. Can, let's see if we can get, get him undone. Man, he's so tight, too. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. I visited Gatorland, and my buddy Mike almost got eaten by a crocodile. Oh my gosh! It's Dan. Dan, you're gonna kill me. 
Oh, doggy, what a year it's been. And listen, we're only in April. We had our first litter of Blue Tongues Kingsborn. And believe it or not, Erwin here, that is so big, was one of these little babies. There's some more back there. There's some in there hiding. Oh, how many? How many do we have? <gasps> Look at all of them. Oh my goodness. Went down to visit my buddy in Atlanta and an ostrich, actually a Rhea, attacked me. It's okay, it's okay. Give it back! Ah! <laughs> I went over to South Africa and got a chance to get hands on with black mambas. There you go, sweetheart. Up you go. And away you go. Be free, buddy. Look at that thing go. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. And then later in that trip, I literally almost got killed. Here's the thing, uh, when we left Jared's place, his dad had told us if you break down or get a flat tire, do not stop because literally on the sides of the roads here, people will come and kill you and take your money. We're literally broke down in Africa. Sadly, I visited my buddy Ryan, who we later in the year lost to a fatal black mamba bite. Oh my gosh, and of course, this is the Jamison's mamba. Oh my gosh, that thing is absolutely incredible. They're amazing snakes for sure. Um, very, you know, very, very, very little known about these snakes, unfortunately, because there's not many people that keep them. In my experience, these are absolutely one of my favorite mamba species to keep. I surprised Lori with this baby lychee gecko, and look at after only five months, Big Bertha has gotten so large. That's pretty cool. It's, yeah. it's, it's cool that it's so small still, too. Mm -hmm. Certainly one of the most exciting things in 2018 was building the Reptarium Zoo, and it started with my girl Bella's cage right here. This very cage was the first cage we built for the Reptarium. So we have a long way to go, but this is a basic idea of what these enclosures are gonna look like. We had the absolutely cutest baby fox visit BHB. And this is a little marble fox, and it is absolutely adorable. I mean, look at this little thing. And once again, the year of unpredictability, we actually had a snake prolapse, so I had to deal with that and hopefully taught you guys what you would do if your snake ever prolapsed. Really gently, see if I can't get it back in. I mean, what you wanna do is make sure that this prolapse gets back in the body cavity. We tried to walk Speedy, the tortoise. Come on, buddy, let's, let's get a move on here. I gotta be honest with you, this thing is a total chick magnet. A silly mom snake actually ate her snake eggs. Holy moly, what are you doing, you silly girl? Oh my gosh, she's eating her eggs. And you guys always love the fact that I cut a lot of snake eggs and show you a bunch of really beautiful babies. Man, holy moly. Okay, oh my gosh, you have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me right now. That is the exact same animal! That's another 5G animal! Lucy gave me quite a run for my money when she laid her big clutch of snake eggs. You guys seem to like it because over 3 million of you watched it. It was definitely a lot of fun. Woo! This is crazy! One of the crazier things that happened this year was this Colombian rainbow boa actually had a mummified baby in it for an entire year and we had to actually get it out of her. Oh, that is so bizarre. Oh, do you see that? Oh, oh my God. Gosh! And in my Brian persistent typical ways, I ended up picking up another baby two-headed snake, Cookies and Cream. Definitely see that the heads are pretty close together, and this one on the left seems to be a little bit tilted down into the side. I love it. I I'm gonna do it. I had a Mexican black king snake mama just tear me up while I was taking her snake eggs away. No, 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 no. Come on, mom, it's okay. It's her, ow, ow! Oh gosh, she's got me good. Oh my gosh, mama, what are you doing? I was so excited to finally build Lucy's new habitat. I'm starting to get the idea how big the cage is going to be. <laughs> and here it is, guys. It is finally done. I mean, how incredible is this? Savvy certainly made an unusual friend in a little chicken that seemed to think that Savvy was his mama. Chick loves Savvy. Just look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. 
they're best buds. I went up to the Delft, Wisconsin and met an absolutely huge green anaconda. Look at the size of that animal. Oh my gosh. Is that an unbelievable girth animal? I bet you she's 250, maybe even 300 pounds. And finally, the day I've been waiting for, my reptile zoo ended up showing up and ready to be unloaded. And Lucy was the very first snake to go into her brand new habitat here at the Reptarium. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. <laughs> I ended up getting Abasuku, my night dial monitor back, ready for the zoo open. Take a look at that. And I tell you what, so far it's absolutely tame. It's okay, bud. It's okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One of the night niles are back here on display at the reptarium. Joey, the king of DIY, ended up flying in to help me set up Bowser's thousand gallon aquarium with all these awesome waterfalls. All right, we're filling up so far. Still no leaks. Fingers crossed. And there it is, guys. The waterfall is on. The water is filling up. Joey, you did an absolutely amazing job. I know. Oh my gosh. I know. <laughs> the thing I love about him is how modest he is. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what, guys? The zoo finally opened. The reptarium opened. My dream finally came true. It's official. We are unlocking the door and letting people in. Hey guys, oh, what's going man. on? How are you doing? How are you, man? How's everything how going? Hi, how are you guys? Thank you guys for waiting. Come on, how are you? Look at this. This cheeky monkey potato escaped. Where the heck is potato? But thanks to the surveillance video, we found this little dude. Oh, wait, wait. Oh my god. We got a potato! A couple people that visit the Reptarium got engaged right here. I was so excited when we went and picked up my boy Casper. Boy, remember the first time we went to Orlando to the Reptile Show and Bob Clark had that huge white Burmese python? Yeah. That's what this reminds me of. I mean, look at this thing. Is that incredible or what? We ended up picking up Elvis at the exact same time. Take a look at him. Oh my gosh. I think he likes you. I don't know. The problem is I smell like processed meat, so... Processed meat! There he goes. On that same trip, we picked up another dream animal of mine. Of course, Toothless, the Black Dragon. Look at this monkey right here. This is another one of those dream animals for me. This, of course, is a Black Dragon. Just take a look at that amazing animal right there. I met Marshmallow. Well, I had an absolutely amazing time with Marshmallow here. Thank you so much for uh, loving my snakes. And then I took one of the most painful reptile bites I've ever taken from these cheeky monkeys here, the Tokay Geckos. Okay, well, uh, yeah, it hurts a little bit. And even though Laverne and Shirley and Cookies and Cream certainly didn't work out the way I wanted to, I wasn't ready to give up, and I finally ended up getting Ben and Jerry. Oh my God, they are so amazing and are doing so well. There you go, bud. There you go. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so amazing. Oh, look at you. Is that crazy? Dude, it's or... massive. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like a full grown dog. Wow. And that same week, I ended up getting salt and pepper, my albino and black American alligators. Oh my god, they are so adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What do they call that? And then Ben and Jerry actually ate for the first time here at the Reptarium. Just before Thanksgiving, we actually brought in a pet turkey for everyone to meet. Here comes the turkey. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. No. A turkey. This is Benny the turkey. Look at this turkey. And then of course Lucy ended up eating a turkey. Well actually 20 hours of filming she ended up finally not eating the turkey but people still seem to like watching. It got over a million views in 24 hours. So a little reset here. It's actually been four hours since Lucy took the turkey. 
and uh, that's where she's at right now. I played with a pretty cool cobra. If you end up getting tagged by this front fang to lap it, your nervous system is gonna start to shut down. Ooh. So there you guys have it, the leucistic monocle cobra. We watched our Goliath bird-eating tarantula molt. Who doggy, that was incredible. I had a pretty amazing experience down at Zoo Wildlife Miami where I was reunited with my chimp, Limbani, and it seemed to remember me and gave me an unbelievable welcome. Oh, oh. oh, my oh he loves you so much. What? That is amazing. Why does he love you so much? Oh. <laughs> With that said, that was 2018. What an absolutely amazing year. I can't even believe what 2019 is going to bring. We are coming up on 2 million subs. That's right. In about a year, we added another million subs. Who knows? In 2019, maybe we'll hit 3 million subs. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I truly think that you are going to have an amazing 2019 as well. Your support this last year has been unbelievable and I will forever, ever, ever love you guys for everything that you do. Let's together make this next year the biggest banger year of all. I know we can do it. Let's keep positive. Let's keep a lot of energy and let me know in the comments what your favorite part of my 2018 and what your favorite part of your 2018. And while you're down there, let me know what you want from 2019. I know it's going to be amazing. And with that said, I am just going to wish you a happy new year and shut the vlog down here. Do me a couple favors before we get out of here can you smash that like button turn those post notifications on this year so you know when i upload a video again let's get to three million subscribers this year be kind to someone and i promise i will see you tomorrow yeah.